What is going on college football fans around the world and welcome to another preview video. In this video we are going to cover the number 21 Miami Hurricanes versus the FIU Golden Panthers. These two teams are facing off this Saturday September 22nd at 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time on ESPN2 at Hard Rock Stadium. Now, a quick bit of business that we need to get out of the way. Uh, so a couple of announcements first. If you do not see yourself up on this big screen, and if you want to be YouTube famous and be up on this screen, send your picture over to bcooper0328 at gmail.com, and I'll get you posted up. Every time you see the screen just flash black, that could be potentially be you uh, so if you sent me one and you do not show up it might be an incorrect format uh, or there might be some type of error so send me a couple of pictures just in case and i'll try to get you up on the big screen and second i would like to extend my gratitude to all of the people who donated in the last live hangout during the toledo game i'm working on getting something posted behind me uh, kind of like a, a vip uh, to, to this channel so I'll have your guys names posted up behind me I'm working on something special for that uh, but all of these people donated uh, with the super chat option during the last live stream and it was just some astronomical amounts I never expected to receive that type of love from my Hurricanes family so I greatly appreciate it I want to give quick special thanks to each of you uh, these are in no particular order but thank you so much to Eric Birch Miami Dolphins Canes, Ricky Kane, Rod G, 219, Jeff Frazier, Bob Leach, Catfish Gene 11, Hebrew Lion, Jeremy Hines, Scott Cantor, Jonathan Flagg, Andrew Mills, and Kevin Clements. Thank each and every one of you so much. You work so hard to earn that money, and I appreciate you guys sharing a piece of the pie with me. And uh, again, you we will be hanging out during the Miami versus FIU game we will be doing a live hangout um, there where we just chat about college football and we can just have a lot of fun but now that we have the quick announcements out of the way let's get into the meat of this preview video now a brief bit of history between these two teams and boy do these two teams have some history does anyone remember 2006 maybe a couple of these picks will jog your memory maybe this one or this one or maybe this one are, are are you starting to remember now although these teams have only met two times in total the first matchup was quite memorable uh, i remember a younger me watching that game and just throwing my air punches and my air kicks, just feeling like I was right there with the Canes during the brawl. I was one of the dudes in there uh, just duking it out. Now, needless to say, both of these teams have pushed that in the past, but this game still kind of has that a dog fighting over its territory feel to it. A lot of these players know each other and maybe even played against each other in high school or played on the same team in high school. So both of these teams feel like they have something to prove. And don't forget, Miami Hurricanes fans, Mr. Butch Davis will be rolling back into town. Now, hats off to you, Butch, for what you're doing over there uh, for the FIU football program. And Miami would like to say, welcome back. But don't forget, my man, we are enemies. On the football field. Miami and FIU as I mentioned earlier have played two times in total with Miami winning both of those games. So let's talk about stats for both of these teams. Miami and FIU 
both coming off of two-game winning streaks. So points per game average for both of these teams, FIU coming in at 40 points per game, Miami coming in at 48. Now total yards per game for both of these teams, FIU coming in at a very respectable 451 and Miami coming in at 436. Now this stat uh, is a little more interesting. Yards allowed against them per game, FIU coming in at a crushing 428 yards and Miami coming in at a very respectable 236. So keys for a Miami Hurricanes victory in this matchup. Number one, give Jeff Thomas the ball. Please give this guy as many touches as possible. He's a playmaker. If you want positive yardage, give him the ball. I don't care if he's lined up on the outside. I don't care if he's the running back. I don't care if we're in the wildcat and we're hiking the ball straight to Jeff Thomas. This guy will make something happen. He needs as many touches as possible in this game. Number two, the defense pretty much everywhere needs to tighten up. I feel like that we're blitzing a little more than we should and we're making too many mistakes on defense. Uh, this defense is what made us last season. This is what we were known for. And I feel like that we, we need to tighten up and play a little better and make some adjustments and improvements. And that starts with this game. And lastly, keys for a Miami Hurricanes victory. No free yards. No kickoffs out of bounds. I'm talking to you, Bubba Baxa. We've had too many penalties, too many just mental mistakes, too many errors that have given the team extra yardage in situations that have really hurt us in these last three games. So again, let's limit those penalties and let's please see some good punts from Fiegels. Fiegels, I got to give it to you. You punted pretty well in the last game, but also from Bubba Baxa, you've had time to shake those jitters, my man. So let's see some good field goals, some good extra points and some good kickoffs. Now, moving on to keys for an FIU victory. Point number one, if Butch Davis knows some sort of weakness for Miami, he better take advantage of it. Uh, he was at the coach at Miami for a while, so maybe he knows something that, he, that he's kind of kept in his back pocket. Uh, he's going to have to pull that out and use it against Miami in this game. Number two, if FIU wants to win this game, they are going to have to score more than 40 points to have any chance at beating the Canes. And lastly, FIU, I tried my hardest to come up with a third point. I really and truly did. But I just can't. Unless y'all decide to start another brawl with us and they cancel the game because of that, you're just not going to escape Hard Rock with a W. It's just not going to happen. Miami is going to defend a hard rock. It is our home and we, I sound like an Under Armour commercial, but we must protect this house and we will protect this house. So there is no way Butch Davis is going to march into Hard Rock Stadium with the FIU Golden Panthers and get out of there with a W. It's just not happening. And I love it. I'm seeing some new faces up on the big screen. You guys look good up there. Now, the ESPN matchup predictor has Miami's win percentage chance coming in at a 95.9% and FIU coming in at 4.1%. Now, it's, it's really honestly humorous to me that pretty much every sports news outlet has the Miami Hurricanes on upset alert this week. Pretty much, you cannot tune in to ESPN or any of these other sports networks without seeing upset alert, upset alert, Miami Hurricanes could lose to FIU. Bro, we hear this every week. Every week. I am the kind of person, the type of Miami Hurricanes fan, that always says do not sleep on any opponent. And I really do mean that. I mean, you do not... Anybody can win on any given Saturday, obviously. We see that week to week. It always happens. There's always upsets. But every single 
again. Really? I'm not going to lie. I do this thing pretty much in every stream where I'm, I'm looking for, for the fans from the opposing team. I'm looking. I'm looking. And most of the time by the third quarter, they're gone. And I have a feeling that this game is not going to be any different. So with that being said, my score prediction for this game, I have the Canes pulling out the victory at Hard Rock Stadium, coming in with a score of 42 to 10 against the FIU Golden Panthers. Um, I believe that the, the Golden Panthers offense is good enough to at least put up a touchdown and a field goal. I do firmly believe that. Uh, but Miami will pretty much dominate on both sides of the ball, probably starting in the second quarter. Miami takes care of business in this game, and we can finally start preparing for ACC play. And everyone, do not forget, before we end this video, we will be doing a live hangout during the Miami versus FIU game. We do this every week. I hook you guys up with stream links, and we just hang out and have a good time. Everybody just hangs out and chat. We just talk about the game. I do some pretty goofy, crazy stuff. Uh, we've got a siren that we sound every time Miami scores a touchdown. I'm, I'm drinking whatever it is that I've got in my cup, and we just have a blast. And also, I have started a new series called The Night Before. We actually stream the night before the game, and I take live phone calls from you guys. Yep, you can call into the show and talk to me, and we can talk about the matchup, and you can talk with the chat as well. So it's super fun. I had a blast last week doing it. Uh, it's really fun talking to you guys in person on the phone. So uh, definitely show up for that. It'll be Friday night around 9 p.m., 10 p.m. Eastern time. And also, we got some big things coming up on this channel. We are close to 4,000 subscribers. Uh, I have the new FSU disc track in the works. I think it's going to be pretty lit. That's coming soon. I've got some big bets coming up that are going to be... Whew, let's hope I don't have to go through with them. I'll just leave it at that but we've got some funny bets coming up soon and just some really awesome things to get you guys the viewers more involved some calling game shows all sorts of stuff so definitely subscribe if you have not done so already so remember though guys we are all one big happy college football family but at the end of the day i gotta say it is always better when you get to rep the you college football vids peace out guys